Hey guys. Not many people would walk around in a cow hat in this day and age. Not to imply that they were ever in fashion or anything. Hi, I'm Grizzly. Hey, uh, I'm Melvin. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Nope. I think Jeff said something about having a day job. It hasn't been that day for like two weeks though. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Um, what's with the hat? We're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game. Well, okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we only switched to this after we quit doing real reenactments. Why'd you quit? It was too much exercise. Also, somebody kept refusing to lie down when he got killed. You missed! Um, what's this game you're playing? Oh, you probably aren't familiar with this type of board game. It's a very specialized form of entertainment. What I mean is, you seem to be using Flintlock 4000 rules, but my brother said didn't have cows. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we had to mod them in ourselves. Cool, huh? Is Flintlock 4000 supposed to be like a, a Warhammer thing? Is that what... Anyway. Can I play? Well, the rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others will want to stop play stop to play a teaching game. I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play him all the time so we could test the strategies. Then great, yeah! We're sure to play on the cow side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Alrighty. I don't know how to play Warhammer, by the way. Um, guy keeps peering intently at the figures on the table and muttering about line of sight. Hi, I'm Mike. Are you the cemetery caretaker? I'm pretty sure that was Jeff. No, that's Jeff. I'm a paralegal. There's a lot of those in this hobby, I've noticed. Yeah, because here, if you lose the argument, nobody goes to jail. Um, you seem to be taking this game real seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Exactly, and winning is how you do that. For some people, for sure. You having line of sight issues? Yeah, they don't let me have my tape measure on the board when it isn't my turn anymore, so I have to eyeball it. It looks like you could um, get a hit on that front guy. He'd have partial cover, though. <laughs> I think you mean soft cover. Oh, you're playing 4th edition. Well, yeah. 3rd edition was a total kludge. Man, you and my brother would be bitter enemies. <laughs> okay, well... Help yourself. Yay, I got candy and stuff. Um, this guy's eating chips like they're going out of style. Wait, he's a nerd. Nerds don't care about what's in style. Hey, I'm Jeff. Hey! Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you're working a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Ah, oh, nuts. All right, well, look. I'm on a real winning streak here. Um, I'll go back once it's over, okay? Yeah, I'm fine with that for now. Howdy, I'm Ernie. What's this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? Oh man, you haven't seen the Dixon experimental sound film yet? It's amazing. What's it about? Well, there's two guys dancing while a third guy plays a violin into a huge cone. You can actually hear the violin! It's so great! And then a fourth guy walks in. What does he do? Nothing, that's when it ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. How's the game going? Pretty good. We're on a real winning streak. If we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone a lot differently. Probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Hmm, good point. Um, last dude to talk to? Nah, I guess two, maybe. Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. It's not quite how it works. Hi, I'm Buddy. So do you like this game? Yeah, it's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version, though. Yeah, it's Warhammer 40k, right? What's that like? It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move without horses and guns that fire more than once before reloading. Whoa, that sounds real. IMBA? I don't know. Is that Imba? I don't know. How'd you get into this? I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp, fortunately, on account of how I sp or on account of I spent the whole thing hiding in a cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. This is probably not a whole lot like what you missed. Yeah, better snacks for one. Right, anything for you? This guy doesn't seem interested in the game. He's just noodling around on his guitar. Hey, uh, what's up? Not into the game? Nah, I mean, I like games, that's why I hang out with these guys, but I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Well, I like playing the guitar, so I was thinking some kind of guitar game, where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords? That sounds hard if you don't already know how to play guitar. Yeah, I thought of making like a real simplified version of a guitar, but then it wouldn't be much fun for me. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Huh. Put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell them I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'll head out right now. Godspeed, Guitar Man. Cool. I'll check out the buildings first. 
and then I could actually like go to the no, the spittoon! Go to the table and play the game. The liquid in this spittoon is a bright yellow. I feel like that's all that needs to be said about it. Look closer. I'll never understand you. Alright, well, you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweet stench coming off of it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift... Okay. <laughs> that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift urinal, as you may have suspected, but rather they're using bright yellow lemon-lime soda-flavored chewing tobacco. Unless... Unless? Well, another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they're all extremely diabetic. Which, now that I think about it, is a real possibility. In fact, it is probable that both these things are true, Surgeon. Really? You're going to put your hand in the nerd's piss and or spit bucket? That's gonna dive- or just gonna dive right in there, huh? Just gonna splish splash around in that sticky yellow broth of spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever? I sure am. With a fanfare of sad trombones and a choir of angels retching, a sword rises out of the spittoon, held aloft by a wet, bedraggled, and miserable-looking woman's arm. Since you're already kneeling, the arm wastes no time before tapping you on both shoulders with the sword, splashing your clothes with the yellow slime, and officially declaring you Grizzly Walker, King of Filth. Congratulations. The sword clatters on the floor as the hand drops it with a shudder and withdraws into the spittoon. It's Blexcalibur. Like Excalibur, but bleh. That's fun. Alright, this is a replica of King Arthur's sword. You know it's a replica because there's no way history would have allowed the original to be this comprehensively covered in tobacco spit. Deals stench damage instead of physical. Plus 6 muscle, damage 12 to 15. But like, if it deals stealth, er, stench damage instead of physical, does that mean that muscle wouldn't affect it? I don't know. What's my current one do anyway? It's 12 to 15. And this is also 12 to 15. Plus 6 moxie. Plus six muscle. Let's try out. We'll try out this one, like Scalibur. And um, hopefully it'll be good. That'd be that'd be cool. Let's get stench resistance out real quick. Um, so offhand flowers. Okay, this pile of trash smells very very bad. You power through the stench and find a few non-garbage items on the pile, like these Kurtzfit pants. These pants are very tight to better show off your leg muscles. Oh, okay. I'll put those on, why not? I mean, what do I currently have again? Uh, plus five muscle, plus three armor. You know, I'd actually rather give up the two muscle and keep the three armor, so we'll do that. Uh, give me my owl again. Wait, no, I had the bear. Give me the bear. <laughs> this shelf is stuffed with, or full of rule books for the weird game those nerds are playing. Of course, 25 mysticality. What am I at currently, mysticality? 20, so if I just have something... I'll just, I get just consumable. Whatever. Give me mysticality. Five mysticality. Um. Any of these? I haven't just missed something, have I? Mysticality by three. That was close. Mysticality by six. Here it is. We're going to eat this tongue. Cool. Okay. Now I can read the books. You pour over the rules until you understand them perfectly enough to realize that they're for an entirely different game than these guys are actually playing. Oh well, at least you learned something useful. As you're about to walk away from the shelf, you notice a book that definitely doesn't belong here. You got the item Intermediate Next Mechs. Vampiric Yodel Skill. Huh. This mid-tier Next Mechs textbook teaches you how to replenish your blood supply by stealing blood from the living. Keeping enough blood inside you is important to necromancers, er, necromancers and civilians alike. Um, let's see if I can learn that without her getting angry. Um, yes. Are you certain the dark arts are no laughing matter? This could really mess you up. Alice growls and gives you the hairiest of eyeballs. Fine. Dang it, Alice. Why you gotta care? Alright. Is the barracks the same? Yeah, okay. There's just a door down here I couldn't see. Alright, I'm at the table. Play their little game. Which battle would you like to recreate? Does it matter? Battle of Cow Ridge, let's do it. Oh. I see. So I have control of these guys, I guess. Or am I in control of these guys? Okay, so skills. I got Hellbolt. Hellbolts in your own units will not help the cause, right? And that would deal three damage, okay. Um, Revolting Human will be utterly destroyed. <laughs> okay. Um, heal your target for 5 HP. 
Increase the target stats by one. I don't know what these all do, though. I mean, I guess here, let's do the human thing. So let's take care of this army medic. Cool. And now, presumably, we can take them all out. So let's heal up this cow. Um, increase your stats. And I can attack this. Well, let's see. He dealt five damage. I increased the stats by one, so he'd still need help. Now he won't need help, though. So first, let's... Oh, I can't heal anymore. Okay, never mind. Oh, hey, do you only attack what's directly in front of you, or will you attack that dude now? Well, this is unfortunate. Doing it again. I understand now how this works. So first... Actually, yeah, let me just destroy this thing. I can just destroy that dude. And Medic's gonna heal that guy up. But that's not a huge deal ultimately, right? Like here, we'll get your stats up. And I'll heal you up. And now we'll start attacking the Medic. Like one more turn and the Medic will be dead, so... There we go. Now the two of us can take out this dude. Yay! That's right! Let's play another one. Um, Battle of Medley. Ooh, we got a lot of people this time. We'll restore one AP to the Bovermind every round. Okay, that's nice. Attack whatever's directly in front of it, so that's you. Um, attacks the nearest column with any enemies in it. Okay. I feel like I need to destroy something, like, right away. So I guess we'll destroy... We'll destroy this dude, because he has the most health. Oh, jeez, no! Was not expecting that. Okay. I mean, at least I can immediately destroy someone again. I mean, so now it's just that, dude. So between me and the, you know, floaty cow thing, uh, he should die. And now what are you gonna do? You're alone. You're a medic alone. It's not gonna work out for you. Cool. Okay, Lobber's Battle. Okay, well, good news is he'll just attack in that whole row, so... That's helpful. I have five action points. And this one on my turn, so let's boost you up. Um... There we go. So I guess that much boosting wasn't even necessary in the end. I see how this is going to fail now. Okay, well, let's heal myself. Yeah, like, I really needed to destroy someone, I guess, so they couldn't just instantly kill. Because two damage to everyone, like, that many times in a turn, that adds up. 
And yeah, we're not going to win. Like, Cow's going to kill one more. Um, but that's, that's going to be it. You did well, Cow. Thank you. Wait, can I actually still heal myself? No, I probably don't have... Yeah, I don't have access points anymore. Dang it. We were close. We were close. But it wasn't good enough. If we had had more action points, it could have worked. Okay. I mean, so let's instead see. Yeah, I don't want to see that. So you have muscle 5. They all have 10 health. Okay, so he will be destroyed. Let's boost him by two, and then destroy one of the guys. So I think boosting him by one wouldn't have been enough to finish him. And now we're only dealing with three, so this is already going much better. I mean, because we're saving everyone four damage at this point. So that's good. Now, it's not, like, good. I mean, it's not... We haven't won, by any means. But we're getting closer. <laughs> Thank you, cultist person. Bye, cultist person. Okay. Um, so I don't need to use my healing yet. I just end up wasting some of it. And I'll survive this turn. So ultimately, it's okay. So we're gonna heal me. Now we're going to attack that dude. Because the cow won't do anything. And we just need one more turn. There's that. Okay, one left. Early skirmish. Here we go. Oh. Well, I don't love that. One AP to the bovermine every round. Okay. So this increases the stats of something. So if I increase the muscle of this, then it would survive a little bit longer. You know? And if they increase, they're gonna give me two AP every round. So if I use two on this, no, and then I, and then I killed like the dude with the gun, I'd have zero AP. So I wanna just use one on it right now. Thing, so I can kill someone else next turn, too. So now let's just destroy him. So now I have enough to kill another thing. Alright, and that... That didn't work out anyway. How much is this gonna hurt? Oh... And I've already lost. Okay, so what if I just focus then on killing them? They won't kill the wall in one one turn, I don't think. I mean, they still might because I, it doesn't have muscle this time. No, it survived longer. Okay. So they give me the 2 AP. One of the cultists is gonna die. No, they're not, because focused on the other one instead. Okay, so let's take care of that last dude there. So I'll just have to like spit it in this turn. But then I'll get my last AP that I need, and then I can take him out. Just destroy him after this. Now I have 3 AP. There we go. Okay. You prevailed in the early skirmish of 1884. That's right. Wow, you're really good at this game. Getting good was the only way to keep my little brother from lording it over me all the time. I feel like we should give you some kind of prize. Um, I've got some leftover guns from when I was gluing the figurines together. One, I'm sure, thanks. Bunch of really small guns. This is a handful of tiny pewter guns, which presumably serve some purpose in the games they play at Fort Memoriam, but which could also be used to outfit a small army of elves. Uh, play another one? I've won them all. Stop playing around. 
All right, hey, can you leave now? Um, looks like I broke your winning streak. Yeah, dang it, I guess you did, GG. Hey guys, I gotta get back to work, I'll catch you next week. The other guys reply with a chorus of Sia's as he leaves. Cool. So now, I can go back to, uh, wait, no, it wasn't the petting cemetery. Your elderly brother's device starts bleeping, and the bleeping leads you to an unremarkable sand dune, which quickly becomes remarkable when the robot buried beneath it, or underneath it, wakes up. That's reasonable. Gotta muscle up! And I'm gonna focus real hard on this thing. Bam! Bam, bam! Alright, we got him. Took him out. Got some scraps, nice. Now we're going to immediately leave, because I didn't want to be here after all. Military cemetery! Your elder brought us transponder thingy bleeps, and you follow the, ble the bleeps to a shallow cave that you think might be a bear den? Fortunately, the bear isn't in right now, and you find a weird crate in the bag. Open it. You poke at the crate until you find the button that makes it open. Presumably, the bear won't miss this stuff. Cool. A teleporter. Okay. The machine that fabricated this device referred to it as a Som Chabecha Andukro. Cool. Okay, now that the caretaker's here, let's check in on him. Caretaker is sleeping off all that war game adrenaline. It's probably best not to bother him. What am I supposed to do then with this? All right, fine. Visit plot one. Ah, uh, you hear rattling and scratching coming from beneath the tombstone. Dig it up. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill some of these dudes. Like, it can't expect me to actually kill all of them. Right? I suppose maybe it can, but... I don't want it to. There are 999 of them. But like, I got the caretaker back, and he didn't do anything about it. He's sleeping. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, four. I wasn't actually reading, so I didn't see that he hadn't been reanimated. Dig it up, this one. This one we fight. Okay, so we're on four now. Let's get to ten. So I know that I've done ten of them, you know? Just so I have, like, a solid ending point. I mean, if I go back to four... Okay, this says I've already visited that plot, yeah. I'm like, this would be so weird if it actually expects me to do this much. I don't know, just thinking about it. Like, because I could. I could. And it is apparently tracking which ones you have and haven't done, you know? But they, there must be another way to do it, too. Is it just one of those come back later things and then the dude will be awake? But what's later? Like, with the circus, I couldn't figure that out. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, Rifleman's Helmet? Plus five pistol attack damage, gotcha. Okay, so we're at seven, I think. Oh, that's eight. That's an eight that you typed. Seven, there we go. We're almost through with it. We're getting there, I mean, we're getting to 10. Still a long ways if I wanted to go the whole 999. But just to figure out the whole up to 10 thing, this is doable. Okay, so we got some more stuff. Old engagement ring, just sell it. Cool. Nine. Cool. Ten. Oh, gosh dang it, I don't know more. Okay, this tombstone seems more ornate than most, though it's partially worn away. There's an epitaph describing as, or inscribed as well, Diet of a Broken Heart. What's sad is at one point I did try to learn Morse for a little bit. I was able to read it okay, like I, you know, definitely not fluently or anything. Um, but I, once I got to like actually trying to listen, I got really discouraged and quit. <laughs> so like, I, at that point, I think I could have told you like what this actually said, um, but I don't know at this point in time. What would I like to say? I 
don't know. I don't remember what those that means. Is it sorrow? Was that accurate? Did I actually get it right? I mean, because uh, I, I just, it was a guess, frankly. What I, I just thought SOS is like three short ones, three long ones, three short ones, right? And so, first one seems like an S, the second one seems like an O, the second to last seems like an O, the two in the middle are the same, so they could be R's, and the last one, I mean, it just, it was basically just, what's a word that's S-O blank blank with the same letter, O blank. So, sorrow. You say a brief word of the departed, sorrow. After a moment, you notice that you can just barely make out the division number that had worn away over the years, 37. I'm gonna Google now Morse, the alphabet, because I want to see if I was actually right. I was actually right. I actually figured it out. That's legitimately cool. I'm proud of myself for that. 37. I don't know what that means. Like, does that mean something to me that this was 37, division number 37? Like, would I want to go to 37? 37. 37! Gosh. Um, you approach the grave, it reads, This this tombstone seems more innate than others, or than most, so it's partially worn away. There's an epitaph inscribed as well. Believe these numbers held the secret to immortality. Okay, hold on. So, maybe it's just each number is the corresponding letter of the alphabet, right? So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, H. Yeah, let me just go through these really quickly. Hold on. Hubris? Okay, hubris. After a moment, you notice that you can just barely make out the division number that it had worn away over the years. 111. Okay. This tombstone seems more innate than most. Da -da 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 -da. Born in distant lands, died penniless and alone. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I mean, is that supposed to be a clue? Born in distant lands, died penniless and alone? Because E-H-V-A-R-Q doesn't really mean anything to me. Like, it doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's an anagram or anything. You know, like, just all scrambled up. I assume it's actually six characters long, but I figure it's probably a code of some sort. And I just, I don't know. Now, unfortunately, nothing's coming to mind, so I think I'm just gonna have to move on at this point. Really interesting, though. Hopefully I can remember that's 111, and I could try to come back and figure this out later. Yeah, interesting stuff. I enjoyed that little bit, though, honestly, the little puzzles. I just have no idea what that one would be. So, let's try going back to the circus, now that we've obviously done a number of other things, and see if maybe it's time to move on, you know? Like, if we can actually go in and do the main show. You find an abandoned crate with Fort All Dead Sunset on the side. Maybe the shippers decided... Maybe the shippers decided with wasn't worth the effort, considering? Um, cool. Here we are at the circus, then. So we're gonna head on in. It's still later. Alright, um, check on the people I sent to Dirt Water, see what they're up to, you know, for like job opportunities and that kind of thing. I'm assuming they'll be down here, no? I'm, I'm still checking because I don't know if they would be at the very next available lot or if they might be at a random one, um, but none of them, apparently. So, anyone working with Doug? No one's working with Doug. No one's working at the jail. Nope. Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you. So maybe working back washing dishes is one of the dudes? Apparently not! And the dude with the guitar is not here either. Oh, maybe on stage? Maybe? Hey! Oh, the washboard! 
Oh, we're assembling a band. Okay. Cool. So at least they did end up somewhere. <laughs> that much we can confirm. Alright. I, at this point, I'm going to go back to... Where the crap is it? Breadwood. I'm gonna go back to Breadwood. Um, and then we're gonna call this recording session here. So I just want to be there because, like, I don't know, it's a good place to end. You see a flash of light in the dark copse of trees off to the side of the trail and smell the tang of ozone. Three electrified cow skulls. Right, that again. Okay, so let's beef up. And we're gonna battle stomp him. Or bull stomp, I guess. Yeah, that really does not do a lot, does it? I mean, I think part of the issue is that it's just, it's just the damage it lists. It's not affected by muscle or anything, you know? So it's like, really, I might as well go up and attack these dudes, kill them in one hit. So the bull stomp ended up, yeah, I think being pretty worthless overall, which is unfortunate. Okay, but the skulls are down. Yay! Cool. All right, so like I said, we're calling the session here. I'm still enjoying this game. I, I don't have much else to say at this point, but I'm still enjoying this game. I hope that you guys are still enjoying this game. And with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!